going on guys? George Glitz here. I'm a personal trainer at Boston Equinox and I like, like to help people burn fat, build some muscle, and just feel good through hacking life, through quick 30 minute workouts, quick mobility drills to just kind of make you feel good. So today I want to talk about some mobility drills to help with your low back pain. I've a lot, had a lot of clients ask me you know, what they could do between sessions, um, stuff that is pretty simple that can help with their low back pain because they say when they sit at a desk all day, they come to the gym, they feel really, really stiff, and they just can't kind of get rid of that low back pain. So what we're going to do is just show you some quick, simple drills you can do at your house or even at the gym that hopefully, hopefully make you feel better. So one of the first things I like to do is just start addressing the tissue. Especially because I'm a massage therapist, I think addressing the tissue is one of the first things that you should do to help loosen up some of the things around that hopefully will help make your uh, low back feel good. So what I like to do is I just take a tennis ball and I like to sit on it on the outside of the glute muscle there. If you've never done this, it's not going to really feel so good at first. Uh, it will definitely help relieve some of that tension. So you're going to cross your leg up top, support yourself and you're going to slowly kind of find that tender spot. Once you find that tender spot, you're going to bring your knee towards your chest nice and slow, and then you're going to straighten that bad boy out. So you can do that about five or six times on each side. What you're going to notice is it's going to start to hurt at first, but feel a little bit better as you go. And you should actually feel some things loosen up, especially your low back. So try that for about five or six on each side. Once you do that, it's time to hit the core up. So one of the Favorite drills I like to use is called a dead bug. And a dead bug is pretty simple, but it gets the job done. And it really helps you kind of move offsets uh, with the shoulders and the legs at the same time, as well as hit those inner core muscles. Because with low back pain, we want to hit the core in a 360 degree approach, right? We want to think of front, sides, and back. So what you're gonna do is you start that dead bug. You're gonna lie down, those knees up, arms up, and you're gonna move offset arm, offset leg, and exhale fully. So inhale, exhale, let all that breath out so we can't talk and repeat. You want to make sure that you don't have an exaggerated arch there. It's just kind of nice and neutral, maybe pressed against the ground a little bit, but not too hard. From there, what I like to do is give yourself a little hip stability with some bridges. So you're going to bridge up, squeeze the butt, and just bring your knee towards your chest. Nice and easy. Make sure you're not whacking side to side. Five per side works pretty good. When you get those, you're going to flip right on over into all four position. This is called a bird dog. So a bird dog is going to teach you to extend the hip instead of that low back is also work on some shoulder mobility. So what you're going to do is move offset arm, offset leg, exhale, count for three, and bring it back, return to the other side, exhale, count for three, and bring it back. That can be a lot harder than it looks if you've never tried, so make sure you're not rotating side to side, really working on that stability, points of contact with the ground, and really not shifting. Okay? From there, you're going to go into a front plank position. The plank, you're going to want to maintain a nice straight line head to toe. Your elbows are going to be directly under your shoulders, driving towards your toes. You're nice and straight, nice and tight, big five breaths. Make sure you're not uh, sagging that little back or your butt's up in the air. And then from there, you can go into a side plank. We're going to get a straight line head to toe, press your palm into the ground, get everything nice and straight. Again, you need to take five hardcore breaths there. The breaths will really get you shaking, really get those inner core muscles to fire. Alright, so there you have it. This is some simple exercise you can do to help with your low back pain. Give it a try, let me know what you think.